Hey everybody, it is late at night and I am Norman. I was recently over at my buddy's channel, Illuminating Watches. If you somehow haven't already seen that channel and aren't subscribed, definitely head over there and check it out. He is absolutely brilliant and the channel has been just blowing up ever since he started it. He did a video recently on swatches and one of the lines that he covered was the high-tech line and I hadn't seen these pieces before. One of them in particular really stood out to me. So as soon as I was done watching the video, I headed over to eBay, tracked one down and bought it. This is the 2GA101 and it's amazing. So tonight let's check out this brilliant swatch. Let us begin. <laughs> So here is the 2GA101, and look at how fun that swatch is. That is so cool. This one really takes me back to back in the day. It reminds me of pieces that I had way back in middle school, even though I hadn't seen this one until very recently, when it was on illuminating watches. But look at how cool that chapter ring is around there. The hands being white, you can actually read the time. That's a bonus with swatches sometimes. And I love that red. So cool. Now, the other day when I was wearing this, I noticed that the time was off. So I'm a little bit nervous. Hopefully it doesn't end up being like my turquoise bay, where you can have it on the shelf, but if you actually decide to wear it, It'll stop telling time. If that is the case with this watch, this may be the last time I try getting a swatch from eBay because that would be two for two where they didn't quite work. The strap is in decent shape, which is good because this is a crazy gray color and you would have to track down straps that are made for this particular model, I think to match that color. So yeah, it's cool that this is in such decent shape. It's such a crazy gray. And we have the typical swatch case back there with the hatch. And I believe the battery in this is brand new. The person who listed this said they would be installing a brand new battery right before shipping it. So that's pretty cool. We see that the crown Looks like it's a bit discolored, so some of the base metal coming through maybe. That's fine. Let's zoom in on this dial because that is so cool. Yeah, when I saw this particular model, I knew I had to get one. That is just so awesome. It's skeletonized, but kind of dark. And just the super tech looking chapter ring is just awesome. Swatch crystals are always super cool. I took some poly watch to this. There were some tiny scratches on it when I received it. And now it just looks like brand new. All right, so let's see what it's like to operate this crown. So we'll pop that out. And as you could hear there, there's a ghost date setting position. So they use the same movement that could have a date window but it does not, so you have to pop it out twice. And it looks like it hacks. Let's confirm that. So now it's ticking. Pop this out and out again. Okay, nope, it just kinda, nope. Weird. It's kind of stuck there. Now the hand did move backwards, so maybe that's why. Yeah. Hopefully that's why that happened. Although I could have swore it had stopped last time I pulled the crown out. 
It's been keeping good time on the shelf, but it seemed to have lagged behind when I was wearing it. Uh, we'll find out. Pop this back in. And there we go. As for the specifications on this watch, the case size is 33 millimeters. The case height is 8 millimeters. The lug to lug is 39 millimeters. The lug width is 17 millimeters. And the water resistance on these originally was 100 meters. But now I don't trust it. I believe these watches were produced in 1984. And I got this one for a decent price of around $80. I've seen them listed for as high as $280. And assuming that this keeps on working while you're wearing it, this one looks like it's in as good a shape as the one that was listed for almost $300. That's craziness. But apparently these are rare and pretty highly sought after, although I was able to find a few of them on eBay pretty quickly. But, uh, I'm sad that Squiggly isn't around anymore. I used to buy all my swatches there. They've rebranded themselves, but last time I checked, they were completely out of swatches. That used to be the place to buy a swatch. It was like getting one brand new, and they all worked perfectly. At least all the ones that I purchased there. So my fingers are crossed. Hopefully this actually continues to tick away properly when I'm wearing it. All right, so let me take off my brand new Dolce Vita and we'll see what it's like to wear the high-tech swatch. And there it is, the high-tech swatch on my seven inch wrist. And it looks amazing. The strap is a little bit in between, so I have to wear it a bit looser than I would prefer. Who knows? Maybe in time I'll swap it out. I do have a really nice black swatch strap that I could put on here. But I do kind of like that it has the original gray color. I don't know. We'll see. I may swap this strap out and see what happens. But that is just a great looking swatch. So much fun. Awesome. So there you have it, the Swatch high-tech piece, the 2GA101. I absolutely love it. Thanks for watching.